flew in this morning from different parts of the United States, made a 14-hour flight, we're here on time. These are very, very committed professionals in what they do, and they're, they're going to work very hard to put on a reciting show for all of you. It doesn't matter where we are, whether it's in the United States or Australia or Japan or anywhere else in the world. Once they get here, they're here to do what they do best and do better than anybody else in the world. Well, you know, and, and that's something else you know, that we didn't touch on is, is we are here. I mean, there, there's been several promotions. You know, I'm not trying to fill you with backstory or make excuses, but there have been several promotions. You know, I, I get rid of due. He's, he's turned this country around five different times to come here. But there's been promotions that have advertised me coming and never told me they advertised me. And then when the promotions got here, they said, well, Hulk Hogan's heard, or he couldn't make the tour. And I know the fans are disappointed. That's why I'm so excited, and I thank the press for coming today, because we are here, I am here, and this tour, the Hulkamania tour, is going to leave you guys with a taste in your mouth that nothing's going to follow this. That building's going to rock, it's going to be wide open. Each and every person here, we've talked, they're dedicated to putting on the best show, and showing your kids, showing the families that this is the way the wrestling business should be. I'm proud to be here. Thank you for being so patient, but you know, in, in total respect, I just want to let you know that I apologize for it. If there's any confusion in the past, thank you for coming. I am here, the whole community tour is here, and we're going to tear it down for you. Rick, uh, I saw you say it in the head, Rick. Uh, how much does it annoy you to hear Hogan's voice? How much does it annoy you to what? To hear Hogan's voice. I saw you shaking your head during that whole speech. Uh, you know, I've been listening to him for 25 years, okay? Talk about what he's going to do, how he's going to do it, suck up to the fans, you know? That ain't what it's about. This is about two of the biggest stars of all time. Oh, good. Probably the two biggest. You're, you're, you're going to run my patience down in the back there, okay? You paint and look at it and not talk to it, okay, buddy? All right. But this word here, this, 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 to me, this, I'm all about here to make a statement. You know, he can tell you all day long about what's happened in the past. There's nothing about the past going on right now. This is Ric Flair, Hulk Hogan. Okay? Paraphrase of use for two guys are going to walk that aisle. One guy's going to walk back. This is my life story. And I've never, ever not made it back down the aisle. Yes, Mr. Fado Jr., welcome to Australia. You probably know as Kishi, how are you? What are we going to see from you, from the wrestling fans out there? Is some of your signature moves there? <laughs> you sure. I'm pretty sure you already know my signature moves. Uh, we're happy to be here. It's a, a big honor for me uh, to be a part of the Hope Mania tour here. And also it's a big deal for me to also see some of my old friends in the business in such a big event here in Australia. Uh, Australia is uh, one of the uh, nicest and best places that I like to work. Uh, and I wrestled here in Melbourne about six years ago, and I'll tell you, the fans here are like no other. It was electrifying, 70,000 people at Melbourne, and it was hot, and we were happy to be here. And I'm definitely happy to raise the roof and bust the move for the family, for the fans of Australia. You the stink face. Hey. Nasty boy's armpit. I'm glad I'm on this team. <laughs> Mr. Mitchell, yes. other than the greatest match of all time, what, what have you got booked for us for this tour? What other matches are we going to see? We've got some of the greatest uh, hardcore, different style of wrestling. What are we going to see? Some triple threats? Any, anything exciting? I think one of the things that we talked about going into this tour is every night's going to be a little different. You're not going to see the same matches and, you know, from night to night to night. We're going to get to the arenas, we're going to put on the best show we can put on, but as you can tell, there's a fair amount of animosity that exists because these guys are professionals. Respectfully, if I may use the word, you know, there are egos involved. Anytime you have top world-class athletes, they have pride, they have egos, and oftentimes that dictates what you're going to end up seeing on any individual night. So every, every show is going to be a little bit different. We're going to take it as it comes. Um, first of all, I just want to say an absolute pleasure to be uh, in you guys' presence, people that I've grown up with. Eric Bischoff, your autobiography is one of my favorite books. Um, I just want to ask Rick, first of all, we thought uh, your WrestleMania match with Shawn Michaels, the Hall of Fame induction ceremony, that was going to be the last time we'd see you uh, don the robe and wrestle in the ring. Now, you mentioned the money before and the promoters throwing the cash at you. Is that the only reason why you're down here? Why did you decide to lace up the boots again? Probably. <laughs> um, 
you know, very simple, I'm just not done wrestling. You know, I spent a year and a half thinking about that moment and uh, uh, it meant the world to me. But I got a lot, lot left in me and uh, I'm tired of signing autographs, I'm tired of watching it on TV, I'm tired of not being part of it. And uh, I'm over here to make a statement, like I said to the gentleman a while ago. And the statement will be that Ric Flair is back. That's all they're going to hear about the United States. They're going to hear that Ric Flair is back. You know, they think I make a lot of money on this tour. We'd like it off that plane in LA. I like every promotion in the country saying, Rick, come on back. That's my goal. And if this guy right now is hooked up with TNA, guess what? I'll be running TNA. That's how this place this is going to be. You know, Rick, um, you need to concentrate on getting through this Hulkamania tour. It's not called the Ric Flair tour. Yeah, I know. It's and called that, the Hulkamania tour. But, yeah. and, you know, I'm not done yet either. You know, I didn't formally retire and then go back on my word and, and step back in the ring like someone else, you know, did. I mean, I've been under the gun with a lot of stuff, had a bunch of surgeries, never said I quit, walked away, cried, wah, retired, brother. But come back and make the statement, you're going to be in the ring with the right guy, and let's we'll see what you've got, brother. Let's we'll see if you still got it. Wham. I quit, I retired. Thanks, Eric. Uh, one for Jimmy Hart. You now, talking uh, show business and business show, I think a lot of uh, hardcore, if you like, you know, inside wrestling fans, um, greatly respect your contribution to the professional wrestling industry over the years. I was curious about both your um, your your stage more show component to the tour, and also what you can disclose as far as your uh, your business contribution to the show and everything you've got going on with Hulk and and Eric and so on. Thanks, Jerry. Well, first of all, this is a big thrill for me to be here. The last time I was here was probably about 20 years ago. And I did a Toyota commercial uh, with a team called the Moon Dogs, believe that or not. But I loved it over here. But I'm so happy to be back. But you know what? We're bringing the music. We're bringing the excitement. We're bringing the pizzazz. We're bringing the colorful jackets. I'm going to be mentioning one of my greatest tag teams, the Nasty Boys. I'm going to be going out with Rufus hey. the Barber Beefcake hey. and maybe even the Hawksburg. And that's what I'm going to He's here to because he's Hogan Stooge. <laughs> <laughs> 10,000 comedians out of work and now you're trying to be one. The greatest... You, never, you know what? We'll see when we get at ringside, baby. Hey, we'll we'll see at ringside, baby. Wrestler of all time. That's right. That's the moniker. The greatest wrestler of all time. Watch the Hall of Fame. What did Triple H say? How to have no man. Yeah, don't. Right. Bring it up. Jimmy Hart is stooge. You don't know that. You're not following wrestling. And I'm tired of this. I'm ready. I really am. Wait a minute, Blair. If I could say something, the nasty boys treat him with respect. We got off that plane today. Never been here, unlike Mr. Flair six times. That's our manager over there. And WrestleMania 7 took us to the WWE Championships. That's our manager, not all Hogan Stooge. We are manager for the first time. The Nasty Boys are here in Australia. He is our manager, and we will prevail here, and we're going to put a show on for everybody in Australia. It's first time here. We're going to leave our mark on this country. You can promise us that. <laughs> Time to get a little bit nasty in Australia. What about it, huh? All right, we're good. Any more questions? Hi, um, this is the two lovely ladies on each table. What were you ladies you bring to the ring? I'll answer first. My name is Kiara. We're bringing sexiness to wrestling. Definitely. Oh, yeah. I think that sexiness is over on this side. The playboy. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Yeah, you know, you might tell your fiance the same thing. I'll say it again. You might tell your fiance the same thing. What are you going to do about it? You guys get a picture of her. She met me before him. She'd be riding Space Mountain with a shirt and car going out. This press conference, as far as this thing's over right now.
Come on back. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Oh! <laughs> 